Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe, it's me Yansa. This will be an all signs reading. This is going to lift you guys up, anybody who's feeling lovesick, um, whether you're single feeling lovesick or whether you're in a situationship relationship feeling lovesick. We're going to get some messages from the tarot and our oracle decks and let's see if we can just bring some love and encouragement to you guys. Only take what resonates. It doesn't have to resonate, but if it's a good message and you like it, like it. You guys don't... You don't have to force a message, you guys. Even if it's not for you, sometimes good advice is good advice, y'all. Okay? <laughs> and I'm not saying I just give the best advice in the world, but I'm just saying no negativity, y'all. Let's do something positive. I love y'all, and this is why I'm doing it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give me clear honest messages for all signs. This is a pick-me-up for those who are love sick. Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that's going to get you so prosper. Ancestors of love, protection, light, keep me safe. Close our doors and negativity sneaks in. None of the ones I called upon are welcome here. Okay. We're going to start from Leo. Leo to Cancer. Okay. All right. Starting with Leo. Two of Pentacles, Leo. You got some decisions to make. Yeah, King of Wands. Four of Swords. You've decided... If you can't maintain everything that you're juggling, you're just going to take a rest, cut the things out, get a queen of swords. So, what is this two of pentacles? What are you juggling? You got your you got your hands in a couple different um projects. Okay. The fool taking a leap of faith, strength. You want to be strong. You want to be able to tackle all of these things, the world card. So not only are you healing, you're working on your weight. You're working on your channel. You're working on your business. You're helping the kids. Um, you're, you know, if you're in a relationship, you're taking care of the home, you know, things like that. You have a lot of things to do and you've decided, <sighs> you know what? I do have the strength to do it, but damn, I get tired sometimes. And I feel like you want to take a, a break and there's nothing wrong with that. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you got a lot of burners. The King of Wands, Ten of Wands. Leos usually always take on so many projects and you don't ask for help, Leo. I don't know why, but you don't. I'm a Leo, so I can say that. Three of Swords. Underneath, you're hurting. You're tired. You need You need a break. You need to rest. Knight of Wands magician you're like if i just keep going if i just keep going i'm gonna manifest something i'm gonna manifest something here's the devil card there's something toxic about this ace of wands also don't um don't mistreat your body get some sleep leo don't mistreat your body i'm young i can do it i can stay up i can get it done i can carry this i can do that me i can i can i can't no no leo <laughs> you need a break Ooh, look at all this that came out. The Queen of Wands. There's somebody who is on your level who's going to tell you about yourself, Leo. They are. They're going to tell you about yourself. Your feminine energy is calling because you're in this masculine energy. Your feminine energy is calling, asking you to take a break. Just go with the flow. Let it happen. Deep down, you can feel it. Your intuition is telling you this. The High Priestess, Nine of Swords, you can't get a, you. I feel like the reason why you're working so much is because if you slow down, I feel like you think you'll you'll go crazy. You won't, Leo. You won't. Hopefully, you won't. But, Leo, take a break. Take a little vacation. Go get a massage. Get some damn sleep. Get some rest. See, the king and queen of wands, so this is a pair. This is a match. This is masculine and feminine. The masculine is the one with all the burdens, but the feminine is chilling, listening to her intuition and resting. Okay? There needs to be a balance. All right, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Leo, Strongly, a Pisces, a Gemini, Sagittarius. Yeah, okay, Leo. And there you are, the sun card. Get some rest. Be your vibrant self, but you can't be your vibrant self running yourself into the mud, okay? Overall energy for Leo.
Thank you. You are stronger than you know, okay? Maybe this may be what's going on. You're trying to prove that you're not weak. You're stronger than you know, Leo. Decisions, okay? Make wise decisions. You're stronger than you know. You're strong enough to make this decision, especially if you do need to rest, Leo. All right. Give me a pick-me-up for Leo. Thank you. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. And don't we have decisions right here at the bottom of the deck? Okay, Leo. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. You're not going to feel like that all the time. So don't make decisions off of some feelings that's going to change within the next five minutes 10 minutes couple weeks whatever okay moving on to virgo all right virgo here's a pick me up for you my loves let me move this out your face my bad there we're good this is for virgo okay that wanted to come out five of wands who are you arguing with who are you wrestling? Who are you challenging? Okay. This emperor, this Aries, who got the bigger dick? Okay. The tower. Somebody's going to uh, fold. Yeah, judgment. There's going to be a decision that's being made. Okay, let's see what's going on, Virgo. The star. So you've been fighting this healing. You've been fighting against against it why knight of wands you still you want okay virgo you have other things that you want to do first you want to live the young free life but i feel like there's some type of healing maturity or growing up or vulnerability that you might need to show okay clarify this energy for virgo the will of fortune mm. Also, Virgo, you're in your element. I, I'm not even going to hold you. You're in your element, Virgo. I'm not even mad at you. The Ace of Wands with this Emperor. What's going on with all this fire energy, Virgo? What y'all got going on? Virgo, you might need... You, you don't even need to pick me up. You're in your element. I'm just here to give you confirmation. Ace of Wands, the Emperor, Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands about? Can't nobody fuck with you, Virgo. That's what you said. Can't nobody fuck with me. Yeah, the page of swords. I see that bullshit from a mile away. Five of Wands. Anybody come towards me with that bullshit? Oh, it's on and popping. You don't got to be so aggressive. You are aggressive. I'm getting aggression in your energy. You're good. You're in your element. You're feeling yourself, but I, I get some aggression as well. This tower, though, five of pentacles. Someone feels left out in the cold, and I'm wondering if it's you. Three of Wands, are you waiting on someone? Wishing on the star. Three of Cups for a reunion reconciliation. Clarify judgment. Knight of Cups. Mm. The Chariot. More travel movement. The Lovers. You want to be in love with someone. Temperance. You, you've taken the time out, Queen of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You worked on yourself, worked on your... Two of Cups right here. Five of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, the Empress. So we got a couple of fives coming out. So there's a lot of change going on around you, Virgo. And you're changing your perspective. You're changing what you believe, the star. You're changing what you used to want may not even be what you want anymore what you used to dream about may not be what you even dream about anymore so it's like your dreams once you would once you think about them or once time goes by or once you get them it may not be what you honestly really want so i see a journey of elevation and growth virgo i see good luck good fortune good news 
but it also comes with trial, tribulation, and growing pains. This five of wands means you got to put in the effort, put in the work. Sometimes you will be met with adversity, but you are strong and you can get through this. Okay, Virgo, you're seeing things in a different light, in a different perspective. And I feel like it also stems on your love life. What you want to do with your love life. You're thinking about marriage and things like that. When you get married, if you're the woman, will you be the one? Will you work? And your husband work or will you just let your husband work and you, you know, be a housewife, you know, things like that. When you get married or be in a relationship, what will you um, compromise? How will you talk to your partner? How do you want them to talk to you? Um, things like that. So you're really thinking about these types of things, Virgo. So I see a couple fives and I see a couple threes. So, <coughs> excuse me. This looks good. You be dealing with a Gemini. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Scorpio strongly. Scorpio is the main energy I see. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Aries. I see a new beginning, especially with this Ace of Wands child. Okay. Hey, now, watch yourself. The Emperor is a married, stable man. Make sure you're ready for it, uh, men or masculines. You could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, like I said, or a Sagittarius. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Cups. Are you ready, Virgo? Are you ready, though? Virgo said, I'm ready. I like it. What's the overall energy for Virgo? Ooh, y'all sure do. Look at y'all. Y'all got two coming out. Spiritual growth. Yeah, spiritual growth. Just some confirmation for you, Virgo. And then we have healing from the past. More confirmation. You're, how you're feeling, what you're going through is spiritual growth. You're healing from the past. Changing your mind. Remember I said the things you used to want, your wishes and dreams, you may not be your wishes and dreams anymore. You've changed your mind. You're going through a spiritual growth elevation and you are healing from the past beautiful virgo congratulations i'm happy for you okay so pick me up for virgo some encouragement please a pick me up some more confirmation whatever it is harmony is pure i'm sorry harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement Harmony is pure love because love is complete agreement. So you're you're in agreement, heart, mind, body, and soul. Harmony is pure love. So love, you want a harmonious love. You want it to be pure, complete, in agreement, you know, harmonious, things like that. Congratulations, Virgo. I see you guys are definitely on a wonderful, beautiful path. Libra. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. This is for Libra. Okay, Libra, let's see what we got for you. The high priestess could be dealing with the Pisces or listening to your intuition about this struggle, this adversity, this conflict. Okay, this something is going slow i don't know what it is we got the ten of wands you got some trials tribulations or some burdens that is slowing your pace slowing your progression all right the high priestess is clarified by the five of cups reverse i thought all my cards were upright but the five of cups reverse and the ten of cups we have two tens right here and then we have justice could be dealing with this is you libra so how you're feeling is you don't want to be sad anymore you're using your intuition on how to feel complete on how to get that long-term happiness stability longevity things like that hold on y'all my legs Whew, okay lord have mercy on my legs okay clarify the five of wands Nine of Pentacles, 
page of pentacles three of pentacles it has something to do with your money stability or people you spend a lot of time with or it's something you spend a lot of time doing okay there may be some adversity coming up for you at work this could be something as simple as you and one of your family members work together at the same job and there's a little conflict there's some type of conflict or adversity or challenge when it comes to money finances career or the family okay what's this knight of pentacles about because we have a lot of earth coming out nine of pentacles page of pentacles three of pentacles knight of pentacles okay yeah six of pentacles justice hangman yeah more pisces energy needing to go within and see things from a different perspective someone could be someone could be being a little stubborn with their beliefs not budging and they could be making it a little harder on you this could be someone not taking um, responsibility or holding themselves accountable we got the ace of wands three of swords eight of swords page of wands chariot page of swords so what i'm seeing is also Pis not Pisces, you could be dealing with the Pisces. This is Libra. Libra, if you're married, um, y'all having another baby. Or there are talks about another child. And you're like, I don't even know if I can afford the yeah, Ten of Pentacles when I cut the deck. I don't know if I can afford another child, another bill, another expense. I don't know if I even have the time. Also, there's worry or stress about... What's this worry or stress about? There are three tens. Seven of Cups. The Lovers. Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Also, I see... You, you're working a lot. You might not have enough time for love. You might not have enough time for your family. You might not have enough time for yourself. And that's got you really worried. That's got you really worried because you don't have enough time doing things you like. You like making money, but you don't have enough time doing things you like. You'd be dealing with a Gemini. So you might be thinking about giving up something with the temperance. I'm sorry, not temperance. Temperance didn't even come out. It could be dealing with the Sag. But with justice coming out, something needs to be balanced. So balance between work love the family because i see three projects getting started at the same time judgment yeah you're gonna have to make a decision you got the ace of wands ace of wands ace of cups two aces okay and then we have three tens coming out didn't we so there's need there's a need for balance could be dealing with a sagittarius Scorpio, Pisces, strongly to be dealing with another Libra, a Cancer, or a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or a Leo. The Sun card, happiness in the beginning. What's the overall energy for Libra? emotions okay you might be in your emotions during this time and then we have forgiveness so maybe you're asking someone for forgiveness you're forgiving someone just you know for yourself or you're asking someone to forgive you all right let me pick me up for libra any messages of encouragement or wisdom or advice or pick me up for Libra please so according to Greek mythology humans were originally created with four arms four legs 
a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. So what this is basically saying, you were created conjoined with your partner. You were separated and now um, through life, you will find your person, okay? Who is that other card? You got the same card as Virgo. You could be Virgo Libra Cusp. Harmony is pure love, for love is complete agreement. You and this person need to agree, okay, for there to be love. Um, it, There may be some things you don't agree with, but there needs to be harmony at least, okay? All right, Libra. Moving on. Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. I saw two kings, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign and a water sign. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands, sexy, beautiful, fiery energy, Knight of Wands, Four of Swords. So what I'm seeing is for some of you, some of you could be getting saved with the hair fit. Some of you could be getting saved, going on a fast, taking a break from doing something, something worldly. Okay, clarify the queen of wands. Who is this? Scorpio. Okay. The devil. Yes, <laughs> you're taking a break from doing something worldly. Ace of wands, ace of swords, two new beginnings. King of Swords, you're cutting something out, okay? I, I see you are cutting something out or you're thinking about it. This may be predictive. So whatever it is that's been giving you satisfaction, gratification, whatever it is that may be toxic or whatever it is you may be codependent doing or obsessed with, someone may be obsessed with you. I feel like it might get worse before it gets better, okay? I have to be completely honest. The Four of Swords came out last. After all the shenanigans, finally the Four of Swords, okay? Four of Cups. Seven of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. So there's something you're getting out of. You're manifesting your way out of. Someone could be doing magic as well. And then we have another four, four weeks, four months, four days, four years, four minutes, four hours. But we have four, four, four. That may be important for you. You may be seeing that. Okay, four, 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 eleven, eleven, one, 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 something like that. So, <clears throat> so I clarify this energy because I feel like I don't know if there's something or someone you're indulging in or engaging in, and it it gives you the truth. I feel like also you could be going straight into straight into the storm straight into the negativity straight into the bullshit to come out because i'm getting kind of like we can't go around it we can't go under it we can't go over it we got to go straight through it go straight through it cut through the bullshit okay i'm getting a have come this far type of energy as well i gotta see it through to the end i don't know what this is you could be dealing with a Libra, your baby mom or something like that, with the Empress or your mother. You could be a mother. Okay. Clarify the Four of Swords. The Eight of Cups. King of Wands. Here's a match. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. The Emperor. We saw the Empress. Oh, I should have pulled her out. We saw the Empress, y'all. She was here. Y'all know what I mean. Okay, we saw the Empress. The Emperor came out as well. So a mother figure or a father figure. You could be a mom or a dad. I'm seeing that. I don't know if somebody's telling you something. There's some type of negativity or toxicity. But for some reason, there's two new beginnings because of this. So because of someone's foolishness or recklessness, there are two new beginnings, could be two children, or you could be getting pregnant because of this. I'm also getting 
someone could be obsessed with you, stalking you, or something like that. But then, for some reason, they get bored with you, or you get bored with them. And they go chasing something else, someone else. So, someone has a short attention span as well. What is this? Nine of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. We saw the King of Swords. So I'm seeing pairs and matches and they're not coming out together. The King and Queen of Wands came out together. So they're someone you're sexually or passionately, communicatively um, on the same level with. But other on other levels, I see there may be, you could be missing the, missing the target with this person. I don't know why. Maybe your love language is different. Your communication styles are different. You, you're not seeing eye to eye with this person or something like that. But I do see in the long run of you, whatever this is, I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like in the long run, you, you end up just cutting it out completely, taking back control of the situation and like, you know what? Because you could be working in your feminine energy and you're like, oh, this isn't working for me. I'm just going to work in my masculine energy. Yeah, five of swords. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Look, here's the Empress again. So maybe you're just arguing with your person right now. Maybe just there's just some arguing or something like that. This is supposed to be for those who who's love sick, but okay. Uh, Scorpio. Overall energy for Scorpio. Join in, okay. And then we have finances. Okay, whatever that means for you. Join in and finances. Okay? Alright. Let me pick me up for Scorpio. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. So let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. Keep moving forward, okay? Move this. Give me two seconds because my leg is done for. Okay. Okay. Yes, Lord. Okay, cool. All right. Ooh. Scorpion, moving on to Sagittarius. Okay. All right, Sag. Nine of Wands. You're working hard for something. You're fighting for something. The world and the seven of cups. We got the devil card. Could be dealing with the Capricorns. You could be obsessed with this. Someone could be obsessed with you. King of cups. So. Hmm, page of swords. Seven of wands. We got two sevens. All right, let's see if we can make this make any sense. So what I'm seeing is the devil still came out, okay? Six of Pentacles, strength. I feel like you're feeling a couple different ways right now, Sagittarius. I don't know what you got going on, but you're fixated on someone or something. You're fixated on making this work or someone is being emotionally manipulative towards you. You could be being emotionally manipulative towards someone else. 
but someone wants to close this cycle but they're keeping tabs on you to see how far you got so if they see you moving on they'll move on if they see you but i don't know that kind of don't make no sense because clarify this energy with the world card a lot coming out the ace of swords the fool the three of wands the three of swords You'll be seeing seven 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 three three three. Okay, three six nine as well. Okay, so what I'm seeing is I don't know if this is you, but you got one foot in, one foot out. Like you're you're you don't want to be in this toxicity. You like it, but you don't like it. You like them, but you don't like them. You're obsessed with them, but you hate being obsessed with them. You can't stop thinking about them, but you want to stop thinking about them. But the strength card, you're trying to hold back and you're trying to block this person out. At the end of the day, you're confused, you're guarded, and you're trying to hold back. Clarify the devil. What's this obsession or toxicity or whatever this is or codependency? The Ace of Cups, you're still obsessed on making this work. Exactly, the Magician. The Four of Cups, you want to make this work, but you're you're still disappointed or not satisfied. And this doesn't make any sense at all, Sag. This is either you or this person. So you're confused on this. You don't, you're manifesting out of confusion or you're manifesting out of boredom. You want it, but you're bored with it. You want it, but you don't want it. Okay, you can be dealing with the Gemini. I see something coming towards you, but do you want it or not? Four of Cups, Ace of Cups. You can be dealing with a Gemini, uh, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Leo. All right, overall energy for Sagittarius. Finances. Scorpio just got this. You could be Scorpio Sagittarius cuz. Finances. Okay, decisions about what? Why is that blurry like that? decisions about the finances okay okay that wanted to show itself graging i'm sorry grade gracefully aging i can't fucking read gracefully aging okay all right give me a pick me up for sag or any advice for sagittarius please Okay, it says, in the end, you tried and you cared. And sometimes that is enough. You tried and you cared. That's, that's enough. Don't let anybody tell you you didn't give enough, you didn't care enough, you didn't try enough. Because you did, okay? This, this one to show itself too. You see this turned over? Okay. The reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected, okay? It may hurt. It may be hard. You can do it. It's just your souls may be connected. Moving on to Capricorn. All right. What we got for you, Cap? Five of Swords. You argue and fighting with someone. You're bored. The devil. What? This is your energy. The devil is your card. So I'm seeing you're being toxic. <laughs> you're being toxic? Yeah, because you want some messages. You want some movement. You want some travel. You like this. You enjoy this. <laughs> or this person does. This, for, this is for those of you who are lovesick. Some of you could have a narcissistic baby mom, a narcissistic mother figure. The sun. You could be dealing with a Leo. Three of Pentacles with the devil okay give me more on this clarify the five of swords and the empress 
Eight of Pentacles reversed. My cards should all be upright. But then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. I see you stop working with this one person and you go towards another person. You stop giving time, energy, and attention into this one thing. You get a new beginning and you go towards something else. Okay, you could be dealing with the Libra. We got the Queen of Swords and the Empress, a Libra. And they're being they're they're being like very bitchy. Okay, the sun and the four of cups. Yeah, we have a Libra. The um just justice. It's a Libra. Or someone with Libra in their chart. Clarify the four of cups and the sun. We got justice, six of swords, queen of wands. Yeah, we got two queens here. You stop dealing with this person. You got a new beginning and you go towards someone else. I see someone's bitter about that. Or you're bitter because you may have wanted someone to choose you and they didn't choose you. But I want you to know, fuck them. Be not no pick me, bitch. If someone has to choose between you and another person, let them choose that other person. What do you mean choose? What do you mean choose? I'm not a choice. I'm not an option. I am the one and only. Okay, Cap? Fuck you mean. Okay, we got the tower. Could represent That represents Scorpio. Clarify the devil card and the three of pentacles. I see you going for both three of pentacles. I know it. I can tell the hangman. Nine of pentacles. Six of pentacles. Yep, you're going for both. Two of wands. So I see you, Capricorn. You're being a player. Whenever this person over here don't do right, you stop dealing with them and you go towards somebody else and they do right. You like this person. But it's something about them emotionally that you don't really... Uh, they do it for you sexually. You have just enough distance with them. They make you happy or something. They give you some type of satisfaction. Clarify this energy right here. The devil, the three of pentacles, the hangman, nine of pentacles, six of pentacles. <laughs> Two of Wands, you can't make up your mind. Eight of Swords, that's your toxic trait, Capricorn. You can't never make up your mind. Which is weird because Capricorns usually have their minds made up a lot. But, I feel like, excuse me, this toxic trait or this way of behavior or something like that. You saw your mom do it, now you do it. Or you saw your dad do it, now you do it. You can be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra strong. Libra is the strongest that came out. Um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Libra, like I said, or Pisces, another or another Capricorn. energy for Capricorn. Keep the faith, Cap. Keep the faith. Forgiveness, okay? Keep the faith and forgiveness. You're asking someone to forgive you. Someone is asking you to forgive them. Maybe you're forgiving yourself. Anything like that. Give me a pick me up for Capricorn, please. Any encouragement or advice for Capricorn? Got the same message as, I think it was Scorpio or Sag. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. Okay. Aquarius. Hold on, y'all. Y'all might have to just see my ashy leg because, look, my leg is killing me. It's killing me. Okay. Very good. It's an ashy boy. I'm sitting down on the ground. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. All right, who's next? 
Aquarius. Let's go, Aquarius. Let's go. All right, Aquarius, what we got for you? Three of Swords reverse. Hmm. My deck is upright, y'all. So you're healing. Three of Wands reverse. Two of Pentacles reverse. Okay, this is weird. I'm going to just leave it as... No, my deck is reverse. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping them like this, though. Three of Swords reverse. You're trying to heal. But maybe you've given up on a dream, a hope. You've given up on something. Two of Pentacles, needing to get stable. Maybe you've decided to stop juggling and finally make a decision. Okay. Three of Swords reverse. The Fool. Yeah, you're taking a new leap of faith. an Aries Pisces Aquarius yeah the devil is reverse my deck is upright I don't know how we, okay I'm gonna, we we gonna keep going okay the devil reverse you ended the toxicity and you're going towards a new leap of faith somewhere maybe the old leaps of faith you used to do those were toxic leaps of faith we're not doing that no more because they would end in heartbreak or you know something like that Oops, sorry, y'all. Now I'm not supposed to see my ashy feet either. Okay, we're going to keep going. <laughs> okay, death. Yeah, you cut something off. You cut someone off. You decided to stop waiting for this person to a pinnacle. I'm sorry, to a wand reverse. You're done. I feel like you really could need your, you could really use love from your family right now, your children, your family, your mom, dad, brothers, sisters, cousins, whoever, because whatever this is, I feel like this was a lot for you to finally end and you did it. I'm proud of you. We got the Empress reverse, Five of Swords reverse. She stopped fighting for this image you have of a wife or mother. You stopped fighting for this image you have of a father or husband, things like that. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. The Ace of Swords, you see clearly now. And for that, your reward is more stability. Four of Wands, there is going to be a connection. There is going to be a reason to celebrate. Yeah, Ace of Cups. It is happening. It is going to happen for you. But I feel like it's as soon as you change your mind or as soon as you just cut the negativity off and i feel like cut it off for good go cold turkey you could be dealing with a taurus we got two new beginnings the ace of cups the ace of swords with the four of wands a relationship a reason to celebrate stability family some type of connection with work or um with a person okay i like this so you could be dealing with an aries leo sag Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The majors that came out is Capricorn, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Libra. Oh, let me put these all upright because I'm not even reading reverses. is upright though i don't know what is going on i don't know we're gonna keep going aquarius maybe i accidentally shuffled them wrong what's the overall energy for aquarius please thank you family changes so maybe there are some things changing within the family and then we have seeking and finding. So the family may be important. I remember I mentioned family to you in your spread. All right, give me, can you please give me some advice, encouragement? 
or an upliftment for Aquarius, please. Thank you. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. So maybe there are changes you need to make or changing changes you have already started making and you're on the right path. Okay, Aquarius? Moving on to Pisces. Okay. We have the Page of Cups, an apology, a love offer, a flirt or a gift or a text that turns into something solid it turns into longevity the ten of pentacles the eight of wands yeah it says a text message a gift travel some type of communication that turns into something okay clarify the page of cups The Eight of Swords reverse. We have two eights, so you could be seeing 88. You could have been born in 88, 98. Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, Eight of Swords reverse, Ace of Wands. Somebody's giving you good news. Somebody's telling you there's no reason to worry. So your worries are being um, wiped away. Okay, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, stability. Yeah, you're getting money. Queen of Swords reverse, Knight of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Swords reverse. You're not talking to somebody. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you're avoiding someone or something. The truth. Let me move this. I don't want you to see my ashy foot. Sorry. Okay. Woo! Hallelujah. Okay. Woo! Yes. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Someone's lying about something. The star. Okay. In Aquarius. Yeah. The Seven of Swords is Aquarius energy. So you're avoiding something. <sighs> you're wishing for something. Clarify the star. Who is this? Is this Aquarius? It's you. Yeah, this is you, Aquarius. So, is this Aquarius? No, this is Pisces. Because we already did Aquarius. Okay, Pisces, I'm sorry. This is Pisces. You can have Aquarius in your chart or be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, so for some reason... So, Pisces, I'm getting... There's a reason to celebrate the Page of Cups. So, maybe your child is telling you something... Maybe your child was sick or someone was sick. They're going to be healed. They're not going to be sick anymore. If you were sick, you're not going to be sick anymore. Like if you were stressed or something, because whoever this is, they're, they're sick in the bed. They're stuck in the bed. Worry about their child, whether they'll get better or something like that. So if you're worried about your health or worried about someone's health, it's going to be made right. You're going to get good news. Okay, I feel like you're going to be healed. Is you're going to come out, you know, brand new. With the Ten of Pentacles, it may cost a lot of money. Maybe it's maybe this is what this is. You're avoiding getting this procedure done, or you're avoiding um, talking to a doctor or someone about this because it may cost a lot of money. You're worried about money. Don't be the Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. You have enough money. You you will be able to do this. So I feel like you might be trying to do something the easy way. No, you're going to have to, um, just like a cold or something like that, you might have to sweat it out or let the medicine work. It's going to take time, okay? But you can't go the fast way. You're going to have to go the, the correct way on how to get this healing. We have the star right here, Pisces. So I see you could be looking on a, a quick, fast, easy way, a shortcut or something like that. No, you won't be able to take a shortcut, but it'll be fine, okay? Yeah, Queen of Cups. Uh, Six of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you'll be fine. 
Then we have the King of Swords. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords. I don't know why the Queen of Swords is reversed. Oh, the Seven of Swords, you're avoiding. Avoiding the truth, avoiding being vulnerable. The star is healing, renewed hope and faith. So also what I'm getting is Pisces. If someone wished you harm or something like that, they don't even know that you're already better. You're keeping it a secret. Or if nobody has to be wishing you harm, but if you are sick, stuck in your head, tired or depressed or stressed, you won't be sick, tired, depressed, stressed too much longer, but you're keeping it a secret. Maybe you're pretending to still be sick while you make secret plans to move on or be happy or something or to travel the chariot. Okay, something like that. I, I just see there's really no need to worry Pisces it looks like you're it looks like you'll be fine honestly so you could be dealing with an Aquarius Gemini Libra Sagittarius Capricorn no majors came out I don't know no majors came out so you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag Cancer Pisces Scorpio Cancer came out at the bottom you dealing with the cancer or have cancer in your chart. All right, overall energy for Pisces, please. Leaving. Yeah, you're leaving. I said you might be leaving or traveling with the chariot. Leaving. And then we have memories. So maybe you're leaving something behind, leaving old memories, leaving someone behind. Yeah, someone is getting left behind. Someone or something. Pick me up for Pisces. Why is everybody getting this? Virgo got this. I think Capricorn or Sagittarius got this. Harmony is pure love. For love is complete agreement. Do not seek it without. I'm sorry. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Peace comes from within. So if you've been trying to seek peace outside of yourself and just being confused and tired and stressed, you're leaving that behind and you're seeking peace within and you're moving on, possibly traveling or just trying to get some space. Some healing, yeah. Okay. Aries. The Knight of Pentacles, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. I do see an offer, a relationship, um, some money, but it's a little slower than what you expected. So please save. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you can, you, it would be nice to save. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune, life is speeding up. So, yeah, it would be nice to have finances as well. Queen of Pentacles. So, you got a raise or a promotion or you are getting one. Two of Cups. Look at this. Beautiful. So, I see a relationship coming. You don't see it coming. Wheel of Fortune. But it is um, good karma, good favor. If, it, if this isn't a relationship, it's a new job or a um, business partnership. It's going to be a slow burner, so you don't have to worry about it fizzling out. Not with the Knight of Pentacles, it'll it'll last. It'll last. Okay. We got the Two of Swords coming out with the Four of Pentacles. Then we have the Lovers. Ten of Cups. The family's good. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Six of Wands, a lot of victory and success. Temperance, patience, take. This is going to take time. 
This will take time, okay? Be patient. It's anything worth having, especially it lasting long, takes time. It takes you building it, taking care of it, growing it, nurturing it, okay? Two of Pentacles. We got a couple twos out. The Hermit, you can be dealing with the Virgo. Strength, you can be dealing with the Leo. Nine of Swords, what do you worry or stress about? Some type of a cancer, travel, or movement. A Pisces, your intuition is telling you something. There's something that you really want. Something is going good, but for some reason, your intuition or something's not letting you enjoy this. It's just not. You feel like something is off. So a lot of majors right here, the Hermit, Strength, High Priestess, and the Chariot with Temperance and the Lovers and the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like there's a lot of change coming into your life. We have the Nine of Pentacles showing itself reversed. So maybe you feel like you're not ready to be single. I'm sorry, you're not ready. Maybe you're not ready to be single. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So do you fear losing your relationship? You're not ready to be single or alone? What I meant to say was you're not ready to lose your freedom, your singlehood, things like that. Because the Queen of Pentacles is a married woman, a committed woman as well. So maybe you are getting a raise. And your job wants you to be manager, wants you to be one of those high, high level um, people like you got your own team and stuff like that. Or you recruit people and in order for you to receive this role, you have to, you possibly have to move or, you know, you know, those people who um, have those new businesses and they start from the ground up, maybe something like that. It's going to require a lot of responsibility. So I'm wondering, are you scared of the responsibility? It's going to take up too much time from your family, your friends, your love life or something like that. It's a lot of beautiful energy here. But for some reason, you feel like something's off. Maybe you feel like it's too good to be true. Okay. You can be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Go within because I feel like the answers are within. And let things unfold naturally, especially with the temperance card. You can be doing, we got, look, we got the moon reversed. Things are going to be revealed. Okay. You can be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Maybe Aries, when things are good, you need to learn how to let them be good and just enjoy it, possibly. All right, overall energy for Aries. We got heavenly signs, so you will be receiving a sign. Ask for one, okay? Ask Spirit for a sign. At the bottom of the deck, we have relationship dynamics. So maybe the dynamics of your relationships are changing. All right. Messages for Aries, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. You will meet your soulmate when the time is right, Aries. So you don't even got to worry about that. Also, Aries. Um, I don't ever see Aries having a problem with this. But Aries, don't be afraid of letting go of people who don't treat you right, who don't want you, who don't see your worth and your value, okay? I'm getting one of those scenarios of pushing away all the good people for you and bringing in all the bad people for you. No more doing that. If you are doing that. Who's next? Aries. Taurus. Queen of Cups. She could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a lot of love here. Ten of Swords. But there's some type of ending. 
what is this beautiful energy and then boom the ten of swords needing to let this go maybe you've been holding on to the pain holding on to the memories maybe it's over but you've been holding on to the memories you've been holding on to the past for far too long maybe needing to let something go okay nine of wands yep you've been holding on to it knight of swords you're you're holding on to anger nine of pentacles reverse and i know i put that card up right okay so what i'm seeing is there's something that has expired a long time ago it could be feelings that you have for someone feelings someone has for you clarify the nine of pentacles reverse Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Okay, so I see you in something that you're not happy being in, but you are staying in there because you can't forget about the old times. You can't forget about the good times. All right. And you put too much energy, time, and attention into this. You could have Aries in your chart or you're being very stubborn. Or you could have children with this person. Or investments. Some type of dealings with this. Knight of Wands. Hangman Reverse. King of Cups. The Queen and King of Cups. So yeah, you and this person, you're married or you're getting divorced or have already got divorced. You and this person have children together, money, a home, something together. Or a lot of you have been neglecting your feminine side. You're angry, bitter. I see bitterness as well. And you've just decided to, for some reason, I feel like you decided to throw your emotions away and just try to be like just some emotionless person. And Taurus, that's not you. You're an emo you're you're a big ball of emotions, Taurus. Okay? There's something you have not been able to let go. Temperance. You've been trying to give yourself time, the sun, but it's not working. The sun reversed. The star. Eight of Wands. I think you finally realize that whatever this is, isn't going to work with this person. And day, day by day, you're becoming okay with it. Day by day, you're forgiving yourself. You know, it's not going to just happen overnight. It takes time with the temperance card. With the sun, I see that this new beginning did not happen. But with the star, there's healing. And, it, and you're becoming okay with that. Okay? It's, it's, you know what? Let it be. It's fine with me. I feel like with the hangman reverse, you're not sacrificing anymore. You're not doing that. I feel like you're doing this because you don't want to feel weak either. You're done feeling weak. I'm getting like some type of enough energy. I've had enough. Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is so like lack, impoverished and things like that. So maybe your job has been taking advantage of you. No, I'm not working extra shifts for you. No, it's my off day. Why are you even calling me? Shit. Or anything. No, I can't do it. I see a Taurus that's learning how to say no. But don't neglect your feminine side either. Make sure you take care of yourself still. But it's a work in progress and I'm proud of you. Okay? You can be dealing with an Aquarius. Leo, give yourself that time with the temperance card. You can be dealing with an Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, here's the full card. There you go with that new beginning. I'm proud of y'all. All right, overall energy for Taurus.
Okay, we have family changes. I think Aquarius got this. So there are some changes within the family going on. And then we have dietary change. So maybe you are changing your diet or you've been thinking about it. Maybe you will. You are someone you know. All right. Messages for Taurus. Okay. The reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. But you got to start reclaiming who you truly are. Okay. Just because you have a connection with someone doesn't mean lose yourself. Start reclaiming who you truly are. I see you starting to say no. That's what I said. Okay, beautiful. Um, Gemini. Happy birthday, Gemini. Okay. Page of Wands. Messages. Ace of Wands. Okay. Six of Swords. I see sneaky link energy. Okay. Sneaky link energy. King of Pentacles. Come through, Daddy, with the money. Eight of Wands. Messages and travel. I see fun as well. Two of Wands. I see you might go back again for them. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Here's the connection. Whoa, look at y'all. Come through. Okay, so. Hmm. I see something that you were thinking about giving a, a thought doing maybe one time. You might consider doing it more than just one time. <laughs> Clarify the page of wands. This is new energy, new fun, fresh energy. So you could have got a new job, a raise, um, promoted into a new position. It's a new season. The high priestess, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Use your intuition. We got the devil here. So I feel like there's something too much of a good thing may not be good for you, okay? That's what I heard. We got the ace of pentacles coming out reverse. Three of Pentacles coming out reverse. Don't spend all your time at work and don't tell people at work all your business, okay? Six of Cups reverse. Four of Swords. Seven of Swords with the moon. Sneaky link type of energy. I see you. You're not... So some of you could be sneaky linking with someone from the past. But with the Six of Cups reverse, I feel like. Clarify the Six of Cups reverse. Three of Wands. The Hermit. So you're ghosting whoever this person was. If you see them again, you might one night them and ghost them again. Y'all want some bald-headed whole shit, Gemini. I, I just got to say it. Y'all energy is completely different from everybody else's. This is supposed to be for people who is feeling love sick and stuff like that. I don't see you love sick at all. I see you one and done in these people. Sneaky linking it. Exactly. One and done with the death card. Okay. If it don't work with them, I'm going to go to them. If it don't work with them, I'm going to go to them. I got options. But I see you... It's the pinnacles reverse. There's a false start or there is a delay when it comes to either money, finances, or a relationship, something like that. We have the king and queen of pinnacles. So use your intuition the way you spend money, the way you save money. Use your intuition on what it is you invest in, who it is you invest in. Because maybe one of these kings or queens is not really who they say they are. Ace of pinnacles reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse. Maybe they're not as solid or stable as they are trying to claim to be. Also, use your intuition. You don't have to flaunt your stuff. Okay? You don't have to brag about your stuff, about what you got. I also see as well if anybody... Because for some reason with the Six of Cups, I'm getting like somebody blamed you for everything and told everybody it was your fault. It's going to come to light that maybe it was your fault a little bit but you 
there's just some type of like setting free from that you're not worried about it i don't think people care about that anymore either Five, five, six of cups reverse and the three of wands. Yeah, the ace of cups. You're getting new love. Something like that. But I see the three of swords. So I see you hooking up with somebody from the past. I do see that. And I'm getting like with the nine of swords and the queen of swords, I'm seeing, well, if they hurt me again, they hurt me again. I'm the one who made the decision. I'm not going to be blaming nobody. I just see you know what you're doing this time, regardless of if it's an L or a W. You're like, I'm just going to um, hold myself accountable and keep pushing forward. I'm not even going to really trip like that. Also, you're taking a break from one thing and you're doing something else. So you got two people from the past. You're taking your break from one person and going towards another person. Or this is what this person is doing to you. Okay, you we dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see travel as well. Sneaky link. Like I said, you can be dealing with a Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, and Scorpio is the main energy that came out for you, Gemini. I heard the name Derek. I don't know if someone's name is Derek. Derek, okay. All right, overall energy for Gemini. Okay, I'll take these end of an era so there's an end of a cycle end of an era however something was was before it's going to end then we have retirement so i don't know if you're retiring someone is retiring yeah something is being changed completely it's the end of this cycle end of this era putting it to a complete end or someone is just retiring all right, messages for Gemini. I was about to call you Virgo. Okay, it says, souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. Okay, so if you lost the person, it's not a loss. This is you going towards the person you are meant to be with because souls that belong with each other will always find their way back together. Okay. Oh, last but not least, Cancer. Cancer, please. I see y'all getting all souped up, Cancer. It ain't even y'all birthday yet, and y'all already trying to show out. We got the Queen of Swords. You be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're mad at somebody, or you're talking to somebody, or thinking about someone. You're stressed out about someone. You're cussing someone out, or, or someone's cussing you out, okay? Or mad at you about something, okay? The Devil card, some type of toxicity. Someone talks really reckless. And has anger issues. Two of Pentacles. Someone might be bipolar. They can't make up their mind. They might have multiple personality disorder. Nine of Swords. Six of Wands. Someone could have um, social anxiety. Getting around a lot of people. They could. Um, what is that word called? Uh, they could be an introvert. It's, that's not what I was thinking of. I can't think of the word. But in simpler terms. They could be an introvert. And they get um, anxious, social anxiety. Did I say that already? I think I said it. All right. The chariot. You're nervous about some type of movement forward. Three of swords. Six of cups. You're worried about um, moving on from someone from the past. So you're going to revisit it. You are. The devil card is here. You are revisiting the past. You or someone else. Two of cups. You still love them or something like that. Okay. Strength. You're trying to hold back, but you're weighing up the options on whether to renew this again with the death card and the nine of cups. 
no i don't think you are hmm. but you're weighing so you're going back and forth in your mind you're going back and forth in your mind to just end it keep pushing forward or revisit it okay so you could be seeing two 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 you could be 22 king of wands you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag we got the six of swords you could be seeing yeah we got six of cups six of swords six of wands okay seven of cups nine of wands the wheel of fortune okay so i let me think we got the nine of swords nine of wands nine of cups six 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 nine 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 two 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 so i don't see you going back to someone from the past but for some reason you're really 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 what is this? Clarify the Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords and the Six of Wands. The Ace of Wands. You don't like going out in public because... Seven of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. So what I'm getting is, and this is not for everybody, here's one story that I'm getting. Cancer, you have a child. Your child is um, growing up into her girly figure or your child is growing up and becoming a man and they're having these growing up into a woman thoughts and growing up to a man thoughts. They're, they don't know what to do. Their hormone, their hormones are changing. Their body is changing and they don't feel comfortable with it. They kind of like it, but then again, they don't. Their voice is changing. They got hair in certain places, things like that. So talk to your child about this puberty. It's just puberty, preteen, you know, things like that. Um, others of you late bloomers, cancer, you could be a late bloomer. It took you a while to become become comfortable within yourself, comfortable within your own body, but you're becoming very comfortable with yourself. I'm feeling some of you are a little insecure because maybe what I'm getting is the cards may not say this and I'm trying to read the cards, but the feeling that I'm getting that screaming at me is someone may not be comfortable with their body or someone has low self-esteem because they feel like the only reason why people are attracted to them is because of their body this person wants people to know that they're smart too they don't it's not just their body they're smart they have things that they're very interested in you know things like that and i feel like they're trying to express themselves but it just i don't feel like um they may, they may not be feeling noticed in other strong suits of themselves. They're only being noticed physically. Okay. I'm also getting as well. Someone could have like um, a physical deformity or impairment or something like that but you just want people to treat you normally like you're a normal person like nothing nothing's wrong with you and you're just trying to get people to realize that like nothing's wrong with me dog like i can do it myself and you you hate when people always ask you if you need help and it's like no i can do this myself like i take care of myself all the time okay i'm getting a lot of messages cancers so let me try to sum this up um so cancer i'm seeing that you are thinking about revisiting something from the past someone or something from the past um i feel like clarify this energy because i'm feeling like it's a i'm getting a child energy for some reason your child did something and you won't forgive them three of wands it's been three months three years the empress yeah then we got the three of cups something about three three children three days they did it three times you told them three times not to do it or you warned them three times three of swords three of wands three of cups so there's a repeated message like a repeat type of thing you repeat and over and over and over again your theme is for some reason something is very repetitive cancer and you hate explaining yourself or something like that you don't want to explain yourself anymore okay 
also making also making up your mind needing to make up your mind whether you will revisit this from the past or not also maybe someone is telling you they're going to get clean they're not going to do drugs anymore or they're going to be a better person and it's like are you going to do better or not because i'm getting kind of sick of this okay so you can be dealing with the cancer pisces scorpio you can be dealing with any sign um the majors that came out is libra cancer capricorn gemini libra aquarius Scorpio came out, Leo came out, Virgo came out, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, taking back control of the situation, taking back control of your life. All right, the overall energy for Cancer, please. No career. Maybe this is something you or someone is thinking about. This could be predictive. No career. Then we have support. So I feel like you are going to be receiving the support you need. Yes. Maybe some of you cancers wish someone would ask you if you need help. I don't know, y'all. Let's go. This is for cancer. Too many. I have found the one that my soul loves. Okay? You have found the one your soul loves or you will be finding the one your soul loves. Okay? This is all I have for you. Thank you for coming back to my channel. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me. Donate to the channel. If you want to book a personal reading, you can text me or email me. Um, check the description box. Check out all of your all signs readings. I've already done your June monthlies as well. Love y'all. Bye.